There is so much going on in Langdon's head uh, that they, it ends up being a, a much harder job than walking in and saying, well, see, this means that, and that means this, and therefore 500 years ago this happened. Uh, we don't get to walk in and figure that stuff out right out from the beginning. It has to be unfolded uh, unfolded to uh, for Langdon by way of other sources. And so sometimes, man, my head is spinning by the time we're done with the end of the day. He takes these 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 questions of faith and theology and blows them up in this macro focus so that we all, whether we believe or not, we all end up having to have uh, to, to address how we feel about what these places are. With the Da Vinci Code, it was literally the, the divinity of the Son of God. With angels and demons, it's like, well, what was what was the creation of the universe? Was it from by the hands of God, or was it was it uh, and it, you know was it the Big Bang? Those, those are big highfalutin themes. Likewise, on this, we're talking about literally what 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 happens in hell and what does it feel like? And in fact, there's a there's a character who is going to recreate Dante's version of hell in the physical world as we know it. You start playing around with those kind of theological questions. Everybody has an opinion, and yet the route to the examination comes through these great kind of like scavenger hunt puzzle fests, running around trying to trying to solve all these clues that I think is undeniably fun.